now. Stir yourself, my lad. Oh, what time is it? Half past eight. Only half past eight? Hey, well, that's late enough. Oh. I must do this room out today. Hey, it's not been touched since you got back. It smells like one of your army expressions, like a... Maltese brothel. Terry. <laughs> it's made you coarse, the army has. Made you crude. I was going to say a gorilla's armpit. <laughs> Mother, that is hardly the height of gentility. What I'm saying is, don't you bring any of your barracrum ways or your Maltese brothels into this house. My, let's open the window, get some air in. Oh. This room smells like last night's beer and last week's socks. Should smell a sexy. Should smell a new aftershave, which according to the bottle makes me dangerous to be with. Oh, and what's it called? Pickled onions for men. It's called quiver. And I was hoping that on today of all days, somebody was going to give me some refills. Mm -hmm. And what's today of all days? It's a day when I didn't expect to be walking up at half past eight in the morning. It's a day when I might have expected a little attention and, 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 and affection lavished on me. A day when I should have been woken up gently at noon with bacon and eggs, fried bread and dripping and the sport in life. I'm not running this house for a resettlement centre for disabled ex-servicemen, I'll have you know. So you best get your thinking cap on, my lad. Mother, don't you know what day it is? Thursday. I mean, what day historically? Oh, oh look, look, just pay a bit of attention to me for a minute, will you? Just down dust us for a second. What happened in 1944, not counting the Second World War and all that, something which we have celebrated ever since? Your Uncle Stan lost his arm in Normandy, but we don't celebrate that. I meant a happy event, something which, during the grief and confusion of war, brought you a ray of sunshine and joy. I saw Gone with the Wind for the third time. <laughs> Is there nothing else vivid in your memory? I remember I had a terrible time carrying you. And then? E I didn't forget, pet. Oh, I didn't forget. Of course you forgot. I got your card. Now, what have I done with it? Mm. Eve, who's that? And look at you. You're still not dressed. Oh, sorry, pet. It's Bob's car. Ah, friends. Real friends don't forget. I'll let him in. Many happy returns of the day. Thanks a bunch. Not a single card. What the hell's this? Gender? The most comprehensive, up-to-date manual on adult sexual instruction. No obligation, send 15 quid. Happy birthday. Oh, God. This room smells like a Turkish wrestler's jockstrap. <laughs> Not you and all. Hey, some people have it easy, don't they? Tea in bed and the papers. What's this? An offer for sexual instruction. Oh, I thought when I did that. What, wrote it or posed for it? <laughs> No, you yeah, fool. We gave them your name and address. If we get a friend to send in, we get ours half price. Well, how can it be no obligation? Send 15 quid. Well, I suppose it means it means you send your 15 quid for the manual, like, and then I suppose, um, I suppose, uh, you don't have to follow the instructions. Books. I'd rather spend the money on a Maltese brothel. <clears throat> what made you think of Maltese brothel? Oh, my mother was on about them a minute ago. <clears throat> your mother? Mm. Does she recommend them? I don't know. <laughs> She's never been to Malta. She's been to Boulogne. Her sister and her went to Boulogne on a day trip. They don't have brothels in Boulogne. So what? They didn't go for that. They went for some duty-free scent and a paperweight in the shape of the Eiffel Tower. Look, I'll go out and I'll come in again. God, this place smells like a Boulogne brewery. They can't brew beer in Boulogne. It's all that filthy red wine. Oh, never mind, man. I haven't got the time. I'm supposed to be at work. And uh, I've got something important to discuss. Of course you have, Robert. You know I was going to meet you tonight for a drink at the Black Horse? Well, I've just remembered in time. Today's a special occasion. Well, it's nice of you to think of it that way, Bob. What do you think of these? Oh, you shouldn't. You wouldn't believe the price. That's a thought that counts. <laughs> the earrings. Of course they're earrings. I'm not a bloody gypsy. <laughs> what are you buying me for Christmas, a caravan? They're not for you, they're for Thelma. Thelma? It's her anniversary present. Do you think she'd like them? Anniversary of what? Our engagement. Well, you've had three. Which one is this? 
They're nice, aren't they? Do you like them? And this is the special occasion, yeah, is it? Yeah, that's why I can't meet you tonight for a drink at the Black Horse. That's why I called round. I'm taking Thelma to the pictures. The reviving Gone with the Wind at the Regal. <laughs> Do you know I've never seen it? Isn't that incredible? Not really. I wasn't born when they made that. I meant an incredible coincidence. My mother also puts Clark Gable and Vivian Lee before me. And my uncle Stan's left arm. Left arm? Left in Normandy. <laughs> Was this, um, on that day trip to Boulogne? Special occasion. I, I would have thought you of all people, eh? Yeah, oh, well, you live and learn. What's the matter? Nothing. Well, come on, there's obviously something the matter. Well, I've just said nothing. Look, I know you well enough. I can tell by the way you said nothing that there's something. How did I say it? Well, you didn't just say nothing. You said nothing. <laughs> All hurt and pained with that look on your face. What look? You, you, you martyrs look. You, you all go out and enjoy yourselves and leave here to suffer look. Aye, well. You're not going to tell me then? If you don't know, there's no point. Well, give us a clue. What day is it? Um, uh, Thursday. I mean, what day historically, not counting Madam's anniversary? Oh, I haven't got time for quiz of the week, man. I'm supposed to be at work. Some of us can't stop in bed all day. I'm sorry about tonight. I'll call round tomorrow. You don't remember, then? Look, I've got to be at work. I'm supposed to be there at nine o'clock. I don't know what day it is, unless it's your birthday. Sorry. I should think so and all. I forgot the earrings. <laughs> there you are, Pip. I told you I got you one. Mm. Four and a half P. Oh, Mother, you might at least have signed it. I'll oh, do it later, Pip, when I'm not so busy. <laughs> On this day of love and joy, here's a toast to my dear boy. <coughs> <coughs> I wish him joy, I wish him well. I wish his bedroom didn't smell. <laughs> now, I've promised to do some birthday requests, so for all these people who've got... Hello? It's open. It's only me. Oh, I thought it was Arad's with a wagon load of presents. <laughs> I brought you an evening paper. Oh, cheers. How much is that? Three P? I don't want the money. No, I'll pay my way. I'll pay my way. Can I have a cup of tea? Yeah, I'll help yourself. Probably need some more water. Oh, that looks all right. What are you doing, then? What am I doing? I'm eating a raspberry sandwich and having a cup of tea. That's what I'm doing. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. I just thought I'd pop round on my way from work. See you. See how you were. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> I remembered. Well, aren't you going to blow it out? Make a wish? I'll blow you out. <laughs> Aren't you going to enter into the spirit of things? Oh, yes. We'll have jelly and ice cream and wear paper hats and we'll all play musical chairs. If you like. Or statues. da 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 Oh, sit down, will you? Sit down. And what was that other game we used to play? What was it? Hunt the, hunt the thimble. I can think of something much more difficult to hunt than a thimble. Hunt the birthday card. Didn't you get a lot of cards? I got one from our Audrey's kids. And that wasn't even the right one. Said, get well soon. <laughs> that was just a mistake. Perhaps. Perhaps not. What do you mean? Perhaps they know something I don't know. Perhaps I've got some incurable disease they're not letting on. Oh, I shouldn't think so. Besides, they can cure anything these days. Except loneliness. Do you remember your 12th birth birthday party round here in this room? Yes, I remember it. I got cards and presents and things. It was a good party, that. Because we just reached that transitional stage. You're going off Hunt the Thimble and going on to hunting Deirdre Birchwood. <laughs> it was a sort of puberty party. <laughs> I remember we played Dustman's Knock. Eh? Same as Postman's Knock, only dirtier. <laughs> and uh, what was that other game? Photography. Photography? Turn the lights out and see what develops. <laughs> ah, ah, very funny. I remember it as if it was yesterday. I don't recall it being all that exciting. No, of course it wasn't. That was my point, man. It's a mixture of childishness and early sexual awareness. I remember I poured a bowl of pink blancmange down Deirdre Birchwood's brassiere. <laughs> Do you remember? I remember. My hand was down there at the time. <laughs> ah, she was a big girl, that. Uh... 
You want another cup of tea or do you have to rush off? Isn't it a special occasion? Don't you have to take Thelma and our new earrings to see Gone with the Wind? Look, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday, man. Yeah. Let's have a look what your stars are. You'll have a special one today, won't you? Birthday boy. What are you? Piskies. <laughs> Pisces. Here we go. A good time for chucking out things like old grudges, inhibitions, and making some kind of a fresh start. Take a closer look at your career and social possibilities, and you discover new openings. I haven't got a career, I haven't even got a job. And as I've got no friends, I've got no social possibilities. So that's stargazers right up the flue to start with. Well, that's why it's a good time for making a fresh start. There's, there's a bit more here. Tonight, in harmonious atmosphere, pleasant memories return. Well, if you can call the public bar at the Black Horse harmonious atmosphere, I suppose he's right. And I'll only have memories to keep me company. The trouble with you Pisces people is you lack stability. You're like fish. You just drift through life aimlessly and are prone to melancholy. Don't talk rubbish. How can fish be prone to melancholy? Well, have you ever seen a cheerful-looking haddock? <laughs> or a merry mackerel? I'd rather be a fish than a goat. That's what your lot are, aren't they? Aren't Capricorns goats? I'm not a Capricorn by temperament. I wouldn't be Capricorn at all if I wasn't premature. I'd have been Aquarius if my mother hadn't got crushed in the January sales. <laughs> ah, that's all that the guns, that star nonsense anyway. It, it gives here the celebrity birthday. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Well, no one really famous has their birthday same as you. Best they can do is James Ogilvie. Who? There you go. The actual fact is the son of Princess Alexandra and the Honourable Angus Ogilvie. Oh, but he's not short of presents. I share the same birthday with Bruce Forsyth. Do you really? <laughs> is, um, is that what you're really going to do tonight? Um, go down the black horse, I mean? Oh, I suppose so. No, but if you are, I mean, if, uh, definitely. Are you definitely going down there? Well, what's it got to do with you? Well, if you're definitely going down there, I'll meet you. I'll come across during the intermission and have a swift half. <laughs> Suit yourself? Right. Well, I'll be off then. Cheers. I told you, didn't I? Pisces, prone to melancholy. Penny for them? Whatever happened to Deirdre Birchwood? Whatever happened to Blamange? Bob, how are we recognising? Will you wear a red carnation? He hasn't changed that much, Podge. Oh, it's five years since I've seen him. Must be. Must be five years. I don't think I'd know if I bumped into him in the street. Come off it. You squirt with him before we got engaged. So did Janie. I don't know why you don't just have his ex-girlfriends here and we lads will go down to the pub, eh? Ah, we could do and have a game of cards. Oh, Podge, no. Go on, help yourself. Help yourself. Come on, lad. Surely you can give up one night at a fat house. It's supposed to be a party. Oh. A surprise party. It's always played darts Thursday night. It's the welcome mat, isn't it? Never miss. Look, he's been away five years. He's lost touch with all his friends. He doesn't think he's got any friends at all. He's been in the forces. Let's give him a big welcome. It's his birthday. Show him how pleased we are to see him. Give him a smile and a pat on the back and a chat. Really G him up. All right. 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 Then we go down to the fat house. Oh. Stamps. Stamps. <laughs> Thelma's made all this lovely food, and there's all you want to drink here. I just thought you'd like to see your ex-lover alone. He was never my lover. There was nothing between me and Terry Collier. Frequently. Hey, watch you. <laughs> I never know what you saw in him. Usually like a bit of flesh on you, man. <laughs> right, let's attend. Oh, <laughs> Come on, it's time for Deborah and Claire to go and right. get him. Oh. Deborah and Claire, right, you go down the black horse, He'll be in there, chat him up, and bring him back here. There's a quid for the taxi. Neither of us have ever met him, you know. Well, that's the point, Deborah. It'll be a surprise for him. Two attractive girls he's never seen before making a play for him. Yeah, he'll be out of his mind. And he's thin, you say? Yes, thin and forlorn. <laughs> and he'll be in the public bar. That's the one between the snug and the saloon. Are you ready, sexy? I'm ready when you are. Right. Oh. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Wait till he sees those two. <laughs> Wait till he sees us. She must be like this behind the scenes, or this is your life. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could have found Deirdre Birchwood. Yeah. This is your life. Do you remember this voice? Who put Blamange down my brazier? Thank <laughs> 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 your pardon. Oh, nothing, Thelma. Love, just a party a long time ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. Good 
Is it larger, please? Bottled. Coming up, sir. All right. Can't complain. All right, well. Could be worse. Always could. Always someone. Worse than you. True enough. So you got to look at it. All right. Count your blessings. Always someone worse off than you. Poor James. So. Cheers. Cheers. Not much happening round here. Not much, no. You waiting for someone? Only Candice Bergen and Julie Christie. <laughs> oh, I. But I was bloody late, them two. <laughs> Just like Bridget Bardot. She's kept me waiting three hours already. Well, it's a long way from Saint Tropez on a donkey. <laughs> you must be going to the same party as me, on the Burton's yacht. Yeah, well, you've got to, haven't you? She was so upset when I didn't turn up for the birthday party. Hey, can I give you a lift? Sammy Davis Jr.'s picking me up in his helicopter. Uh, <laughs> no, thanks all the same. I'm going on the Anassas Hovercraft. <laughs> Should be there for cocktails. Aye, just in time for the grand gala fancy dress ball. I like your outfit. <laughs> yes, yeah, neat, isn't it? I thought I'd go as an ordinary northern working class bloke with no job and no prospects. Suit you. <laughs> what are you going as? Genghis Khan. <laughs> of course. I left me all outside. Do you fancy a bacon flavoured crisp? Oh, thank you, mate. Like a drink? Why not? Special, please. Let's go and see a man about a dog. Special, please. Come in up. Hello. You what? <laughs> she said hello. My friend said hello. Can I have one of your bacon flavoured crisps? Be me guest. Are you on your own? Sort of. All alone. Nobody loves you. Oh, how can someone as devastating as him be on his own depths? One of life's mysteries. I was stood up. She must be mad. Well, she was travelling from France. <laughs> Do you want to come with us to this party? It's not. It's not Candice and Julie, is it? Deborah and Claire. Oh, well. What's in her name? You haven't said. Said what? If you're coming or not. Where is it, this, uh, party? Uh, well, it's, um, it's a surprise. <laughs> What's the matter, don't you trust us? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> well, come on, then. Find out. Hey, look, will you give the Burtons my apologies? Uh, tell them something's come up. Cheer up, Chief. There's lots worse off than you. Name bloody one. <laughs> hey, it's a bit quiet for a party, isn't it? It won't be later on. Here. Yeah. Hey, come on, hey. <laughs> hey, it's not one of those parties, is it? Of course not. Give us your hand. Go on, Debs. Paris a jolly good fellow. Paris a jolly good fellow. Paris a jolly good fellow. Who the hell are you? <laughs> I've never known him. Terry? You're not Terry, you're an imposter. You what? I thought it was Terry. Hey, what are you doing going around masquerading as my mate Terry Collier? I've never masqueraded in my life. Oh, just a minute, Bob. Look, who are you? Yes, who are you? Colin. Colin Ferguson. Oh. Who? Oh. Hey, you're a coven, aren't you? I've read about you in News at World. <laughs> Witchcraft in the suburbs. I'm going to be a sacrifice. Or help! Help! Do the best, sir. Thank you, sir. Hello, kid. I thought I might have missed you. Why? Well, they said... No, he said... No, I didn't mean to say that, because there's no he, is there? I mean, well, there's no they. There's no they either. No. No, what, what, what I meant to say was, it's, um, it's getting late. It's, it's later than you think. It's later than I think. You've been taking some of slimming pills again. <laughs> No, I'm just in a bit of a state, that's all. A bit of a, it's a long drive, that. You drove from the Regal. It's only round the corner. The Regal? I thought you were at the Regal watching Gone with the Wind. I thought you were going to pop in for the Swift off while Atlanta was burning. Oh, yes, I was. I didn't. I mean, one thing I didn't do was drive from the Regal. But you said, I just heard you. You said it's a long drive, that you said. Yes, yes. What, what I meant was it's a long drive from Atlanta. That's what I meant. It's a long drive from Atlanta. <laughs> well, you've lost me. 
So while you're having this temporary mental lapse, I'll have a large scotch on you. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, me too. Two large scotches, please, George. Coming up. What was the film like? Terrible. Well, I thought it was a masterpiece. Yes, yes, it is. A terrible masterpiece, yes. <laughs> that's, that's what I meant. What, what I meant was it's terrible. Terrible what they're doing to Atlanta. Burning it. That's what I meant. Yeah, that was right. terrible. Six, oh, Grant, thanks. Thanks, George. Ta. Uh, have one yourself. Keep oh, the change. Yeah. It's his birthday. Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, many of them. Yeah, the fewer the better as far as I'm concerned. You, um, you haven't had a very pleasant <laughs> evening? No. It, um, it hasn't really been a, a happy birthday, has it? Much the same as most of the others. You know, Bob, I've been thinking. My parents never really wanted me. Oh, come on, what gives you that idea? No, no, I don't reckon they did. It was the war, man. They'd already got two daughters. Not much money coming in, a bombed house to cope with. Last thing in the world they wanted was another mouth to feed. Well, you're here, aren't you? Living proof. Proof? Proof of what? That me dad had a couple of jars too many one night in a 48-hour pass. <laughs> it was probably conceived in an Anderson shelter. <laughs> he probably only did it to keep my mother's mind off a doodle bug. How long have you been in here? Come on, man. Of course your father wanted you. All men want sons. It's a well-known fact to carry on the line. Do they? Well, of course they do. Besides, doodlebugs didn't come in till after you were born. I only know I must have been starved of love and affection when I was a child. That's why I'm such a loner. People sense it. I've got no friends. No real friends at all. I was talking to a bloke in here just half an hour ago, getting on quite well with him. He was eating me crisps. I went out for a Jimmy Riddle, and when I get back, he's been swept out of here by two teenage ravers. No mention of me going with him. No talk about making up a foursome. Oh, no. You've got what? friends. Stacks of them. People who want to see you again. Close friends. Bob, you're the closest. You'd tell me, wouldn't you? Tell me straight. <laughs> tell you what? I'd got B.O. or bad breath. Or, <laughs> or sweaty feet, or all three. You haven't, man. Because I wouldn't be hurt, you know. I wouldn't make any difference to me if I thought the answer was going home and getting under a tap with a big ball of life, boy. I wouldn't let pride interfere. There's nothing wrong with your personal hygiene. Even my mother follows me around the house with an aerosol. <laughs> oh, come on, man. Just because someone's has got your birthday. In actual fact, I have got something for you. Something to cheer you up. I don't want it, thanks. Well, you've got to have it. Because I've already got it. Got what? Well, it's a surprise, isn't it? We'll knock these back and we'll go and get it. What about Gone with the Wind? Oh, forget Gone with the Wind. Ask no questions. Come on, knock them back and we'll go. Fair enough. Oh. <coughs> oh, uh, George, if uh, Candice and Julie turn up, uh, tell them how to dash, will you? Ah. It's Bob's car. Now, everybody hush. Are there two of them? Yes. Yes. The wife Thelma's house. You'll find out. You'll find out. Right, now, put this on. Hey, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Well, it's just like blind man's book. What's that in aid of? Is that too tight? No, no, that's all right, but I, I can't see the point. That's the point of it. You're not supposed to see. <laughs> now, through here. Well, where's this present, then? No mad rush. No yeah. mad... Now, stand there. Right now, put your hands out. <laughs> it's a girl. Very perceptive. Thelma? No, of course it's not. Oh, good, I can enjoy myself. <laughs> well, I can't be Deirdre Birchwood, otherwise I wouldn't be able to stand this close. <laughs> right now, turn round. Now, put your hands out again. It's another girl. Correct. Well, I'm beginning to enjoy my birthday. <laughs> hey, which one is yours? Where does Thelma think you are tonight? Evening classes again? <laughs> uh, certainly not. They're both yours. It's your birthday. Scheherazade. Pardon? Perfume, Scheherazade. She's wearing it. Can you recognise perfume? That one I can, because Janie Freeman used to wear it. Do you remember her? 
And as our relationship was a very physical one, her memory will um, linger up my geez. nostrils for quite a few years. Yeah, well, Terry... Hey, um... hey, hey, did she marry that Hugh in the end? My God, he wasn't half a great long streak a week later, he was. Yeah, well, that, that's enough of this game, Hey, did they still Terry. knock around with that other couple? Um, uh, Mary. Mary Argent Stan. Mary, Mary. She wasn't so bloody contrary, you know that. <laughs> He's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow. Hello, Stan. Stuff your party, Collier. Hey, Stan, hey, if it wasn't your birth yet, stuff you. <laughs> you <laughs> Velma, what's going on? What are you doing? I... What am I doing? I'm playing hostess to a party. That's what I'm doing. That's why the room's been done out and all this drink's been bought. It's why I spent the afternoon slicing cucumber and buttering bread and stuffing volivons. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, well, uh, that's all over then. Uh, we'll get down to the fat ox starts, you know. Could you drop us off near the ice rink? Aye, if you like. Well, it's nice to see you back, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't really. It must be a gift. Well, what have I done? You know what you said before? About not having any friends? Yes. You've got even less now. <laughs> well, we meet again. <laughs> Small world. Uh, do you want a volleyball? <laughs> well, I might as well, seeing as how they've been stuffed on my behalf. <laughs> Tell me about your friends. Ex-friends. Was it, was it a surprise party, like? Yes. You should have told me. <laughs> then it wouldn't have been a surprise, would it? Would have been a nice, jolly, successful party. But it wouldn't have been a surprise. Well, I'd better be off then. Oh, you're not going. All this has got to be eaten. They're, they're lovely volos, Thelma. <laughs> I'm sorry, Thelma. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. Oh, it's all right, Terry. It's not your fault. Not entirely. It just all went... <coughs> oh, come on, Bob. Forgive him, forget. Give him his present. Got me a present and all. Oh, you really make me feel bad now. <sighs> Give me a party and now a present. I don't deserve friends like you. Happy birthday, kids. Many happy returns. Uh, yes, best wishes. Many of them. I'm moved. And I can't pretend that I'm not moved. Quiver for men. Bob said that's what you wanted. Bath soap. Talc. <laughs> Deodorant. <laughs> <laughs>